It's a night of champions, part one, or night one. Two nights of champions, a clash of champions, to be exact. What is up, everybody? So what's going on? We got, uh, let's see here, we got a sub, Crazy Chris, what's going on? Let me get you in here. Let's do the thing. Crazy, you getting in that Madden raffle. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, so for those that don't know, the Madden Raffle ends tomorrow night at the end of the show. What we're doing is a uh, sub gets you five, and a uh, 100-bit donation gets you one. So crazy, I'm getting your few other ones here. And uh, what you get again is a copy of Madden 23, digital copy for Xbox. If you're a Madden fan and you want a game for cheap, this is the way to do it. Somebody's getting it. So what's up, Rady? What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? Tonight is our first two-night pay-per-view in a while. I think the last time we did that, and the only time we did that, 
was uh, Acumania. We're testing something out here. And yeah, that's right, you heard it. We're doing a two-night pay-per-view tonight and tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern. And I got your sub, uh, Chad, by the way. I got you. I got you and Adam for it. So, so again, been playing Saints for... How is that, Troy? Uh, I got it too, man. I haven't opened it yet, though. I want to play it. I might do that this weekend. I don't know. It's good stuff. Uh, it's, it's love in the air. Hey, how you doing? Uh, so, again, tonight... Big night. You try to do ownership of the one that you give so he's already subbed. Oh, the generosity's there, though. Thank you all for being so generous and kind and caring individuals here. Um, we got a lot of matches tonight. Let's talk about them real quick. We're going to open tonight off with a Money in the Bank Rumble. That's right. Ten people competing for Money in the Bank. I think our, one of our biggest Money in the Bank matches in quite some time, if not the biggest. We have the NAW contendership match. Grav, Chief, Cody King, Kimo, and Troy Andrews competing. The contender will head to the September pay-per-view for a title opportunity. So, again, for those that don't know, if you're chasing after a specific belt, redeem for that and block others, especially if you win as a contender. Ultimately, you want to go against the least amount of people at the pay-per-view. If you're a champion of that belt, redeem to be in the contender's matches because you can then stop people from competing for your belt. The more people you beat, the less people you have to compete against at the pay-per-view. Strategy there for you all. So keep that in mind. Consider that. If you're asking where are the redeems tonight, they are disabled for tonight, and they'll be turned back on tomorrow night so we don't have doubled the redemptions for tonight and tomorrow. So join us tomorrow for night two of this pay-per-view to redeem to get booked for next week, Thursday. They're disabled tonight. THC, I'm excited for that. I downloaded them, by the way, Troy. I'm excited. So again, no contender match tonight. Triple threat match, just cause it's a grudge match. Lana, Amy, and Michelle competing against each other. Tag team contendership match. Good old JR is in action here. Is it almost as much as this? Hey, I gotta turn on. Speaking of that nerd cred, everybody. Emma even reminded me, and I, I still didn't do it in time. Let me do that real quick here. So I can earn some of that sweet, sweet nerd cred. Is Lana's face fixed? Great question. I tried, and it's not perfect. I need help. You guys, I am not good with the face scan stuff. I did my best, and I'm sorry, Lana, if it's still fucked up. I'm trying here. I'm trying. I promise you, I'm trying. So. He said, oh, no, that's interesting. It's, 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 it's face scan. I tr Here's the thing. Lana poses... Like this half the time where she got her pretty hair in her face. Is she doing something? And it's very difficult for me to just capture a blank face scan and like do the, the effect where there's no hair in the face. Because uh, that just looks strange. It looks like weird shadows. So like I had to try. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, it's a work in progress. We'll try to get another picture here soon. Also tonight, as mentioned, tag team contendership match. We got Ollie and Dixon, JR. Yeah, good old JR, that's right. She just can't take a normal... No, she always has to be pretty. Stop being pretty. And then the Reckoning and Bear Briggs. Tag team, one tag team will advance to September's pay-per-view. Also tonight, the DNA Championship is on the line. Hunter Owens. Kaze? Is it Kaze? Am I saying this right still? I will learn this name, I swear. Swear to you, Samuel Winters and Bear Briggs locked inside a steel cage. That's right. Trench to Casper. Well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. And yes, Batman back in chat. You love to see it. Tag team championship in the women's division on the line tonight. Amy and Catherine against Michelle and Kira of MK. MK. Judge Bad MK. MK. And then in our big main event, because only seven matches tonight for night one, another seven for night two. That's right, the NAW Championship is on the line tonight, because the main event tomorrow night is a Tag Team Championship Royal Rumble. Shenanigans and craziness. I pronounced it right? I know I, we had that talk. I am just, if you only knew, if you only knew, Troy, if you only knew. He's back, back again, that's right. NAW Championship rated, you're F, dude. You are absolutely F tonight. Rated has to go against seven other individuals in an elimination rules matchup. Troy, King Phil, Bear Phillips, 
me. That's right. Ollie, Hunter Owens, and Garmer in the main event tonight. It's going down. But again, we're kicking things off. Clash of Champions night one with a Money in the Bank rumble. Here are your prick dick shones. Let's get that going and let's kick off the show for episode 571. Clash is here. What is up, everybody? It is the Clash of Champions. I didn't create the arena. I'm sorry. Time was short this week. It's been a it's been a week. So here we have it. It is night one of the Clash of Champions. It is showtime, Mr. Ads. Dark Berry, Dr. Pepper. Oh, that sounds amazing. We're in Orlando, Florida for night one here tonight. How was everyone's flight in? Ty, I didn't even mention your name. It's okay. But if we're going to throw anybody under the bus, I guess we'll throw Ty under the bus here. Ty, you should have done the thing and you didn't do the thing. Way to go. Way to not do the thing. That's okay. Ty got busy. I got busy. It's okay. No big deal. We're stealing a pay-per-view from WWE anyway, so might as well use their shit. I ain't mad about it. All right, it is time. Who got lucky number one and two? And then who will be number 10? Who the hell knows? It'll be interesting to see. It's the gold rush, you know it. <laughs> Good Lord. Is he gonna announce or what are we doing here? The following contest hey, thank you. Take it is the Royal To my man Rumble in the ring. Match. Now, the two superstars that drew number one and number two will start in the ring at Should the same time. That would have made sense. Other superstars will join in the order that they drew. This will continue until all ten superstars have entered the ring. All ten. Eliminations occur when a superstar is thrown over the top rope with both feet landing on the floor. The last superstar in the ring will be declared the, the Royal Rumble winner the plane, and go on stairs. to face the champion of their choice at WrestleMania. You hope Grav got number one? I hope so too for your sake. Who is number one? I know this music. The crowd does too as we kick things off. Money in the bank. Can you bet? Yeah, predictions are live. Get them in. Yikes. Dixon, the danger dog. Starting off at number one. One half of Dixon Danger Pussy. That's the name, Dixon right? D. She said, "What happened, Dusty?" Of course, in our main event, the other half being Ollie. Stick around for that. Our big main event of night one. Says he does. He bring the bussy. How you doing? Space Age Scooby. <laughs> Could he go all the way? Can he go the distance? Who is the lucky individual to draw number two? Please don't let it be me. I hate to see it. Batman on the road, on the road again. Praying he doesn't hear the scene of music next. Wait for it. Nope. <laughs> uh -oh. Nope, you're good. It's not the scene of music, but whose music is it? Oh, it is Cody King. Ty was going to cry, he swears. Cody got two. Oof, indeed. But he gets to face Dixon. Wasn't, weren't they involved uh, in the tournament against each other at one point? I'm trying to remember. Who did Cody lose to in the tournament? 
Was it Dixon? He gets redemption. Like I said, my memory, man, it is failing me. I suppose I can look at my charts. Who did he lose to? Uh, he lost to Chemo. Yeah, he lost to Chemo, and then Chemo lost to Dixon. But I know Cody is not pleased. Oh, there is Cody. Speak of the devil, and he shall appear. I know Cody's not pleased with the dog. He don't like that dog either. He definitely don't like the cat, and he don't like the dog. But here we go, Cody seeking revenge, if you will, of sorts, against the dang dog, Dixon. Let's spell your own name. <laughs> yeah, get in character, boy. Cody's second on prediction, almost got number two. Dang. Here we go, who's gonna draw number three for money in the bank? Cody misses there. Anthony coming in at number three. As we kick off night one of Clash of Champions here. What's up, Queen? Better late than never, you know what I'm saying? Glad to see you. Glad to have you. You got some matches here tonight, too. Best of luck in those, of course. One half of the temple says Crazy Chris. Cody with the gut. Slamming Anthony down three in. We're going to have ten in this Money in the Bank match. Over the top rope elimination rules as you heard by our amazing ring announcer. What's up, Billy Blaze? How you doing, man? Garmer coming up number four, who is in our main event tonight for the NAW Championship. Amazing to see if Garmer becomes Money in the Bank and NAW Champion here tonight. That would ensure that no one can surprise him and attempt to steal his championship during the month of September. Keep in mind, too, there is no NAW Championship match tomorrow, but if you're money in the bank, you could add an eighth match to the show tomorrow and cash in for a one-on-one -on -one match for the NAW Championship. Keep that in mind, whoever wins this match, if you want to cash in that quickly, it is up to you. Troy Andrews coming in at number five here. Billy Blaze is just chilling. Don't give ideas. Hey, I have to give ideas sometimes. It's good to help strategy. And hell, why wouldn't you want to main event the pay-per-view? Start it off on night one and close it out on night two, you know what I'm saying? With a brand new title. Anthony eliminated by Garmer. Dixon and Troy, funny that they're battling. CJ Frost coming in at number six. How are predictions going for everybody? Have you predicted yet? Clock is tick tick tocking. If you want to get some predictions in, gamble on that coveted nerd cred here. And for those that don't know, you save up nerd cred. They'll be back online tomorrow on our Friday night, night two of the pay per view. We'll turn the redemptions back on tomorrow and you can redeem to get booked on next Thursday's show. That's right. Cody in a very dangerous position. He recently lost to Frosty there. Evans coming in at number sevens. It's weird. But I'll take it. Dixon guiding Andrews over the ropes. This little old school there. Standing moonsault from Evans. Trying to take out Garmer on the left there as Cody getting a rematch of sorts with Frosty. What's up, Irob? I know you're traveling. Irob's in Baltimore. You're driving near Cody. You should stop by and say hi. Dissecting some crap. Speaking of Irob, look at that. Speaking of the devil, he shall appear. Irob coming in at number eight. We got two spots left then. Indeed, Cage, indeed. So action continues. We have not had hardly any eliminations in this match thus far. It's going to be a pretty full, full match here as the ring fills up. We got seven individuals. This would make eight. Who's going to be number nine? Case is tying. Grab got nine and ten. Hashtag rig. You can get this shirt on the merch store, by the way. And yes, I am number nine. I should have been ten. What the hell? This game is rigged. I wasn't even prepared for the match. As you can see, I'm still in my suit from doing all my media this morning for the event. 
You actually have Google spreadsheets of every rumble? That's awesome. Chaos Express, you know it. This match is indeed chaos right now. Karma, but a reversal on Grav here. Frosty with a big right hand. Dixon eliminated by Troy there. Good God. So Dixon eliminated by Troy. We still have one spot left in this rumble. We're counting down for our 10th and final entrant. Who's it gonna be? Garmo working on grab. Look at the size difference. My God, I'm fighting a monster. This is not fair. This is rigged. Please set me down gently, sir. Frost taking Andrews over the ropes there. They are partners in Venom Club. Why are they fighting each other, Billy Blaze? That is a great question. They should be working together here. As we count down for our 10th and final entrant in the Money in the Bank Battle Royal, we already know who it's going to be. Will they take their sweet time getting down here, though? Tie in the number 10 as Gravity is eliminated. Son of a bitch. And we just had simultaneous eliminations. Evans followed right behind them. Man. Cody eliminated here by Garmer, it looked like. Billy says, let them eliminate each other. Jeez, this is absolute chaos right now. Garmer, I Rob still this thing. Two members of Venom Club, Frosty and Andrew still in this thing. And then, of course, Ty still in this thing. It'll be interesting to see. I want to know the strategy of whoever wins this. How quickly will they cash in? They have until the next pay-per-view to schedule a cash-in or cash-in if the game cashes in for them. Frosty taking it to Garmer here. Icon says, not Cody. Icon is like Cody's biggest fan. Lana says, Amy has crabs. I wish her a speedy recovery. Are they power crabs? Even though he's fresh, he's got to be careful. Fact. Right now, I think Evans was the favorite to win. Actually, just kidding, Ty was the favorite to win in the prediction poll. Can Ty outlast as he got side mount strikes from Irob there on the north side. Someone eliminate that big fucker, says Raided. Can they do it though? Troy Andrews in trouble by Garmer here on the north side. Andrews eliminated by Garmer. A competitor has been there are a lot of big fuckers. You ain't kidding. So we are down to four. Frosty, Irob, Garmer, and Ty. Who will be Mr. Money in the Bank? Cody is online. Of course, Irob and Ty being two former NAW champions here. Frosty and Garmer never wearing the big gold before. So we could see two veterans returning to the championship picture. We could see two new contenders in the championship picture. Two possible new champions. K-dramas with English dub? Yeah, that sounds fun. Standing missile drop kick from Garmer out of the back of the head of Frost. Captain James has some dang yummy crabs. Hi, Rob. Oh, but he came up short. Ah, not the first time that's been said about him. Am I right, chat? Mm. Ty now. Oh, he almost stomped him out. Yeah, that dude is a giant. You ain't kidding. Bemis says it's Frosty time. Garmer, though, trying to eliminate Frosty. Can he do it? Oh! Garmer cleaning house here. But a reversal from Irob on Ty as Garmer stands in the corner and rests. Single leg tank down and mounted strikes now here from Irob on the big man. Could you imagine it coming down to Irob and Garmer in this match? Good lord. Rated cheering on Irob. Frost getting tossed like a rag doll. 
It's good to see the Venom Club not win any gold again. This is crazy. Amazing. Up on the shoulders of Garmer. Oh, I thought he was just going to dump him out. He did no such thing. These two lock horns. Oh, do we have a double team ever? I Rob working now with Garmer. Look, oh, God! Spear nearly breaking I Rob in half. My God! And another this time to tie. Garmer is going to single handedly dominate this rumble. Holy hell! Ty is in trouble, but he's trying with everything he has left at this point to fight back. These two need to team up and get rid of Garmer. We got a little bit of showboating from Ty. Oh, God. Irob getting dumped aside here by Garmer. Ty is in trouble. Irob stomping in the corner like a little toddler. Combination. How do you beat Garmer? I mean, this is a preview of things to come in our main event tonight. Rated is in absolute trouble. I fear for him. Belly to belly overhead suplex from Irob. That core strength there. NAW should have an air of returns. Who wants to come back? Anybody? If you're watching out there, let us know. Icon, who would be uh, one you'd want to see make an epic return one day? Big slam from Irob there to Garmer. Now Ty, nice uppercut. Almost taking his head off like a rock'em sock'em robot there. And a big clothesline taking him to the mat. Garmer back up again. This guy will not stay down. Ty turning his attention to Garmer. Wise move there as I rob on the ground. Oh, uppercut again. This time to Garmer. Can Ty eliminate the big man? Let's see. Elbows to the midsection. Reversing out of it, though. Garmer hard to control. He's standing back now as I rob. Fireman's carry takedown to Ty. Standing drop kick to the back. Who's tenacious D? What you talking about? Oh my god, look at this! No! He's like 10 feet up! Ah, oh, poor I Rob. Poor, poor I Rob. Ty now. Brutal clothesline to I Rob as Garmer shifts his attention. You want to see Marky Mark Bennett back? Oh my, I Rob eliminated. We are down to two. Ty and Garmer, look at this face off right now. This is unreal. Holy hell. Oh, Spring Bob Moon Salt. Off the top rope, begging for Garmer to stand. Oh my! He fisted him good. Ty now guiding Garmer to the ropes. Can this be? Ty with the super kick win! Ty is Mr. Money in the bank! And Gravity might be forgiving his tag partner for his actions if he were to let his buddy borrow a briefcase, if you know what I mean. But congratulations, Ty. You are Mr. Money in the Bank. Brady, why are you saying no like that? I mean, no. I mean, no. Maybe I should forgive Ty. Chat, should I forgive Ty now that he's in a good position to win? I think I should forgive Ty. I don't know. Torman says, do it, do it. I always forgive Ty. 
Ty maybe don't want... He does want to be forgiven, I thought, though. Forgive Ty regardless? Why you guys be using logic in your brains? I don't like logic in my brains. It's too logical. Our next match is for the NAW number one contendership. The winner will advance to the September pay-per-view. Who will win? That's the great question, right? Who will win? Let me get the entrance here. We got, of course, Grav. We got Cody. We got Chief. We got Chemo. And, of course, we got Troy Andrews. Get your predictions in now. Grab Cody Chief, Chemo Troy. All right, all right. Three of these guys aren't entirely front. No, no, they're not. So this should be a hell of a fight, in my opinion. Who will win? Again, the winner will get an opportunity. Does Grab have a face scan? Does it look like me? Extreme rules? Hell yeah, Billy. That's how we do. I don't have a face scan. I, I made some tweaks, I'll be honest, and you can see them here. I've been doing some soul searching again, my friend. As you can see, I got some ink too. We're looking fresh. Yeah, I didn't get time to take off my suit. I'm rocking the suit tonight. The, following the beard is coming back. I'm trying to make it come back. Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Weighing in 240. It's a work in progress, y'all. The boss. Travis like the ink? All right. I was going to get the American Gravmare. All Garmer's tattoos have deep meaning. I don't actually have any ink. They don't, they don't have any meaning. So. I would love nothing more than an opportunity to headline the pay-per-view in September as well. I've headlined every pay-per-view in 22. I just want to point that out for the NAW Championship. I've only won one of them, too. And I, I won at Forbidden Door. The Acumen Gravmare. I like that. I'll take it. It's a good one. You're debating on getting one of Shane Tats? Hey, go for it, dude. From the Isle of Samoa, weighing in at 330 pounds, the Samoa. See, that's cool, Cage. That's cool. It is Chemo! He is ready for war and for an opportunity for the NAW Championship. Again, the winner will advance to the September pay per view. Name and theme to be determined yet. Uh, they will advance. They'll earn their first shot here tonight at that. Chemo chance starting to happen here in chat. You can see it happening. The people love him. The September pay-per-view winner is that? No, it is not at this time. Uh, it could be a multi-man. That's why if you win contender or if you're a champion, tomorrow night redeem to be in that title belt contender match so you can block other people from joining the damn match at the pay-per-view. Um, be the first women's main event on 22. I think it, yeah. We need to build that part of the roster back up, in my opinion. I would love to main event them again. They deserve it. Yeah, he's not infected anymore. I guess we eradicated the virus. They fortunately got a vaccine available. So you're good. Ty is Mr. Cash in the case. He's, 
you're going to try to hold on to this one for a bit. Okay. Okay. Chief's headphones. I don't know what happened there, honestly. It's still a weird update. Great question. Will the new Island Warriors work together in this match? It's tough. It is, from my understanding, not elimination rules. It is first pinfall or submission. Brady says Emma deserves to be NAW champ. She has been before. It's true. And uh, we'll find out tomorrow if Emma has what it takes. Triple threat for the NAW Women's Championship tomorrow. Selena Maverick against Emma and against Lana. Triple threat tomorrow. And from Augusta, Maine. Oh, Andrew's here. Coming off a rumble match. Is he fresh? Did he get enough Troy of a break? David we don't know. Andrews. Radius says she wears my belt for me. Damn. Does she wear the pants in the family then, I take it? She's wearing the belt. T. Droves. Emma says, I always have what it takes. I guess we'll see on night two, Emma. If you have what it takes, you'll be throwing down. Take pictures, it sounds kinky. <laughs> so again, I want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in so far for night one, episode 571 of NAW. We're live every single Thursday night. This week we're just doing a special two-night pay-per-view, testing that out to see how it works. If you guys enjoyed, and, and uh, just again, just glad to see you all involved here. Thank you so much. It means everything. Pounds, the total package, Cody King. Cody King here. Meant to talk to me. How you doing, huh? Eh? How you doing? Cody King here would love nothing more than to compete for the NAW Championship and get his 10th NAW title. I know he's been wanting that since he's returned to action this summer. Took a little bit of a sabbatical, found himself again and found himself back in this squared circle one more time, reminding himself why he loves NAW and each and every one of you so, so much. He has nothing but the respect for each and every one of you. Or so I am told. So again, so nice, you gotta see him twice. Colt Sanchez. Mr. Colt Fire, how you doing, man? Good show tonight, sir. We're starting things off like this, huh? Cool. Are you going to eliminate me or is this a single pin fall? Come on, Cody. Let go. That's the back of my head, dude. I just brushed my hair. Better late than never, Sanchez. That's what we always say. All right. Nice move from Kimo there. Chief trying to take out Kimo, though. I guess, I guess you got the answer you were looking for. Are they going to work together? No. No, they're not. Bring out the Kendo Six. Billy Blaze is here for the violence, everybody. Making that apparent very quickly. Oh, what was that? Anybody see that? That was weird. Something strange happened. Cody and myself are no strangers as being opposition in that ring. We are also no strangers of working together towards something, being united. So we know each other very, very well. Oh! Shooting him with that shotgun as Gravity taking it to Cody now. Plants him down, knees to the face. You hate to see it. Slapping him on the way down. Sorry, Cody. It's just business. What can I say? His action continues here. Lost me. I don't know. Are we back? Are we back? Now we're truck. Are we 
back. Sledgehammer in hand. Gravity tanging it to Cody there. Epic main event. It's going to be on fire. In fuego, if you say. Hopefully we're back. You guys all see us now. Come back slowly and back. All right. Hi, we're back. You got to love network issues. Am I right? Swing and a miss, but it landed that one on the Chief. Nice. Cody back in the ring here, heading right after Cody. We got problems? Oh, pump handle set up from Cody here. Reaches through and plants me down. 160p. Yikes. That's not good. I think we're good now. Who knows? Network issues, I guess. You just reset the stream so you don't have a delay. Yeah, probably for the best. Submission hold attempt on Chief here. Will Chief tap out to Cody? Chemo trying to save the day. He can't get to him, though. Oh, they save him just in time as Chief fights through the submission. Again, this is first pinfall or submission in this match. Non-elimination rules. Just think it in quickly or this could drag on. Or it could just be a stellar match. Who knows? Chemo dumped a ringside four in the ring now. Flipping the ref off is Troy Andrews. This is what I'm talking about with Venom Club. The disrespect that they have towards people. And literally everyone, as you can see there. Troy now, cover has the leg hooked. NAW contendership. Chemo breaking up that pinfall. Ring for Cody, him and Ty, the two people want to see face off versus Garmer. Garmer feeling confident like they already won the main event. Look at that. My friend, you haven't won the main event yet. Chemo pinning possession here. Chemo could advance. Two count there. Cody power bombing me out of the ring with the hell. Meanwhile, Chief bringing a ladder in the ring, looking to achieve new heights here in NAW. Chop combination strike, but halted by Chief there. Meanwhile, Cody and Grab on the outside. AK HBKOA, thank you so much for the follow up from the NAW. You can catch us live every single Thursday here at this time. If you want to be a part of the roster, hashtag NAW22. Upload your character. Everybody in chat here is on the roster. That's how we run the show. If you have any other questions, let me or Eva Mons or chat know, and we'd love to answer them. Pinfall attempt here from Chief on Chemo. Chief picking up the dub here tonight. Well, the answer to your question, KH, it doesn't matter. Because Chief just picked up the win here tonight. Big win for them. Let's see. Hope you all got paid. Pay me, says Icon. Rated says, I knew he was going to win. Did you? How'd you know? Congrats, T. Teef? His name is Teef now. No, we call him Chief. <laughs> Thank you for that, Batman. So congrats, Mr. Chafee. You're headed to the September pay-per-view in the championship match. The barbecue fired up. That's right. That's right. All right, next match is just a grudge match. Triple threat first pinfall or submission. Lana, we get to see the update and... That didn't save as well as I thought it did. Lana, I am so sorry. I need somebody's help with the face scan stuff. Can somebody help? Please. Lana, Amy, Michelle, get your prediction on now. Your main account got suspended. Your, your other account, your W2K22, is freezing, crashing. Can you just tell me the tag? Um, shoot me a whisper, because if you tell me in chat, I will forget. I promise you that. But shoot me a whisper, and then it'll be documented for me to check later. The following contest contendership, Bella versus Alyssa. Let's take a look. NAW Contendership. Uh, Alyssa and Isabel. Representing the family. Yeah. From Ann Arbor, Michigan. That is on night two. Page. After you flash our daughters, 
That, that's an interesting twist of fate here. Yeah, yeah. Trunch Bull, age by. Age by see forever. Come on. Y'all. I love that she embraces hate. I did not do it on purpose, Lana. I am trying. I am trying. I swear to you. You look like a fucking crazed joker now, is what you look like. Uh, I swear I'm trying to fix the shit. <laughs> you got the smile behind the smile. <laughs> fucking hell. She wanted the face scan, I blame her. Joker gimmick, I would love that, that would be fun. She would never commit to it. Trying to get her out of the green buttons attire is like trying to get her out of her real attire. It's damn near impossible, let me tell you. <laughs> it's worse, how is it worse? <laughs> uh, I, I give up. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, Amy Reynolds. Do you want to know how I got these scars? I didn't cut the crust off, no. And what is, yeah, what is, who is uh, Amy's theme here? Who is she using? I forget. Y'all are killing me tonight. You really are. Y'all are really killing me tonight. Lana with a Harley Quinn gimmick? I would love that. For a multitude of reasons. What's wrong with being thick, Lana? Get out of here with that shit. Thank you, AK. Appreciate that. You'll download. Yeah. And from Michigan. Michelle Clairbrook. Michelle you feel like Harley Quinn is against everything Lana stands for? Well, maybe it's time for a gimmick change. Lana, experiment here. You know? Con Air is up to 10K Nardcred. Holy hell, you're into my knee. See? I'm at 5.3K. It makes you feel better. Ty with the Harley Quinn attire, Daddy's Little Monster shirt included. I Yeah, I want to see that, Ty. Please make that your new attire since I've updated. It's your turn. What do I think of the AEW Fight Forever Omega and Cole gameplay? I think it's not so good. Um, not so good. KH under 3K, DC with 14K. Damn. We can make the jumpsuit red and black, but you're not getting rid of the green buttons. <sighs> One of these days. 4.3K. Here we go. Triple threat rules. First pinfall or submission in this one. Again, grudge match. Nothing on the line here. Just a little bit of a buffer match to get them booked when they redeem to be booked. We honor that every week you redeem. Again, redemptions are back on tomorrow if you want to get redeemed for next week Thursday. 33 for Icon. AEW Fight Forever looks like No Mercy, but No Mercy was good. So I, the Fight Forever game could be good. I don't want to dog it yet, but visually it's uh, it's something. Batman has 37? Damn. Queen has 2.9? See, y'all doing really good. Imagine someone watching every stream the entire year not spending one nerd cred, one million nerd cred, first non-millionaire. Damn. 378? That's crazy. Lana, jeez. You have open character slots so you can make the Lana you want. See, I don't like that because I feel like that's opening a door for trouble. The Lana I want. You put Amy in the poker, she hurts you. Pinfall attempt here from Amy. Two and a half there. Lana hesitated getting back in the ring. Let's head scissor take down here. Lana turning attention to Michelle here. Yeah, we gotta do something, Cage. She's getting mad, more mad each week here. Maybe I'll work on something this weekend. Somebody hit me up online and we could try to work together and fix this. Cause man, I need something. I need help, y'all. Hit me up this weekend. Or after the pay-per-view tomorrow night. We could stream fixing Lana. Cross body from the top rope. Michelle has the leg hooked. 
toe count. Michelle now snaps suplex to Amy. You hit me on Monday or Friday. I'll be home this weekend. I got some time. I gotta reach out to Corman too. I gotta help him with some stuff. We want tables, Chance. Who's in a team who? She does have one green body, yeah. So, fun, fun fact, green is my favorite color and blue is her favorite color, hence the color scheme. So, a little, little insider information there. Lana with the chair now being brought into the ring. Gets stopped by Amy here. Up on the shoulders now. You hope the creation for AEW is better? Yeah. Better with all the Lanas? That could have helped with Lana. I didn't make her re upload a bowl though. So that was the problem as well. Ty, I did ask. I've asked a couple of times, Ty. Jeez. For real? The crowd asked and they shall receive. Mr. Kaz, bang, bang, where you at, man? We got tables. On the hardest part of the ring, though. Lana slammed down. There's no give on the outside. They're just steel and just bad times. Michelle quickly out of the ring with the chair. Misses all the captures. Ouch. Does the green show shoe say grab? It might. Am I one of her toys? Or is she one of mine? I will not continue that conversation. Double team effort here on the outside to Lana. Ty will help. Let's talk business, Mr. Ty. You just seen Cody's version of Seth, yes. For those that are interested in spoiling the surprise for tomorrow. Uh, he is available. Lana out. Lana, what are you doing? Lana outside the ring doing something. And yes, uh, Ty was at Cody's who made the creation on his Xbox. But Ty looks like you don't get credit, my friend. Amy has the table. She's setting it up in the middle of the ring. Cody says he didn't do it. Well, it says you did. Icon will be on night two. That's right, sir. Outside of the ring, under the apron, they're up high. I'm sure it's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for that tomorrow. You saw the monster I see pop up here at work. <laughs> yeah, it's something. Looking under the ring, Michelle, what's she looking for? Kendo stick in hand. Lana face first on the canvas there. Amy, leg hook, pinfall attempt. Oh, two and a half there. Michelle just starting to go crazy, banging her head against the buckle. Not the store in the mall. Michelle up top now, high risk set up here. Amy standing slowly. Lana starting to recover. Oh, but nobody lands anything. Very risky maneuvers late in the match. Now Lana using the table as a weapon. A little spin around. Lana setting up Michelle now for a finish here with it. What are you doing, Lana? Springboard crossbody, but she clears her. What is this, the high jump? What is happening? Brutal slam there, though. Lana continuing her efforts against Michelle. There we go. This is wrestling chance here from this crowd. Look at that. Lana dancing to the crowd, reacting to the chance. How appropriate timing. Nice move. Laid out. Michelle is in trouble here, but Amy in the ring breaking up the pinfall. Lana now taking it to Amy. Turning her up face first into the buckle there. Kick to the midsection and another, but stopped by Amy. A reversal backed in in the corner now as Lana, but an elbow reversal. She fights out of it. Running Bulldog. 
And this is Lana wins. It says she's showboating, but I'm, oh, oh, what does she do it, lady? Oh, sledgehammer to the bits. Speaking of bits, if you donate 100 bits, you get a single entry into the Madden giveaway. A sub to the channel gets you five. The giveaway is the end of the show tomorrow night. Lana, pinfall attempt on Michelle here. Amy breaking it up again. Now turning her attention to Amy planted down. Has the legs hooked. Michelle breaking it up here. Good God. This is just chaos, y'all. Up and over and out of the ring. Lana was sick of her shit. Sledgehammer being taken out of the arms, but into the midsection. Lana getting assaulted, but no sells it. Awkward maneuver. What is happening? What is happening right now? Is she taking off in a plane? Broken up by Michelle there. Amy trying to win this thing. Amy and Michelle now. Lana stepping away. Lana doing a little bit of get down, get down, turn around. Oh no, to the back. Up over out of the ring. Lana dumped ringside. Amy and Michelle have center stage. Brutal clothesline takedown. Michelle going top rope now. Lana heading. Oh, what is she doing? She, okay. She stopped Michelle from her high risk move there. Amy back standing, wearing down Lana. Combination strikes. And a kick to the back of the head, the Insiguri set up there. With a sledgehammer used by Michelle. Has it back up again and going for the ankles. Went for the knee. Oh, she got scared though. Oh my! Holy hell! Brutal slam there from Amy. Michelle is absolutely rocked. Oh my, that move. Pinfall attempt from Amy. Can she win the match here? Two count. Michelle survives. Amy waiting though. And again lands another the takeoff and landing. Leg hooked. This has got to be enough. And again Michelle kicks out. Unbelievable. Amy's theme is Ember Moon. That makes sense. Lana said you put her down. Pointing to the canvas there. Lana has her back turned to the action though. What does she have in mind? All right, Michelle and Lana. Michelle taking out Lana right after taking out Amy. Why do they turn their backs like that? You just made the list. Rated with a gift to bear. You guys each get five. Thank you for that. Two, three, four, five. One, two. Three, four, five for Rated and Bear. Thank you so much. Get up, says Lana. Lana now on Amy. So Bear. Lana with a pinfall attempt. Lana picks up the win. She is that HBIC. So Bear and Rated, you all get five each. See if I can get a, a screen grab so y'all can judge this afterwards. <laughs> Congratulations are in order. I'm just adding up these sub raffles here. How'd everybody do? 65% said Lana. Hope y'all getting paid. You got a vote right. How you doing? Keep in mind, too, our stream boss at the end of tonight will be joining the Money in the Bank for the September pay-per-view. So remember that. Money in the Bank pay-per-view. All right. Just going to make notes on that. Congratulations, though, Lana. Our next match is for the Tag Team Contendership. Good old JR back in action. Who will win? JR. Can I can I do this? I'm gonna try it. We'll see if it'll let me.
All right, predictions are live. Celebrating your victory? Of course. It is tables. This is for you, Mr. Kaz. Bang, bang. He's like the biggest fan of tables matches, for those that don't know. Get your predictions in. This is a tag team contendership match. The winning team will advance and head to the September pay-per-view as our first team to compete for the titles. I'm going to try to do a thing, too, once we get three teams that qualify. I'll turn off the contenders for it so we don't have a rumble match again for the tag belts. I'm sure it'll be fun, but I don't know if we want to do that every month. Listen to what I mean, not what I typed. And it auto-corrected me, to be fair. <laughs> uh, oops. <laughs> Maybe I did it intentionally. <laughs> they do need a tag entrance, yeah. I don't think anyone submitted that. Plus, every time I do an update for things, it screws up all the... <laughs> oh man. I can't. I just can't. Y'all kill me. <laughs> Make it the iconic theme. Rated right, submit it to the form, dude. That's why we have a form. All right, during this part of the program is where we like to announce our upcoming shows. Next week, Tuesday, you can join us for our next episode of the Weekly Dosage. That is a Tuesday night show where we involve you all in the community, AKA the fellowship, to participate in video games with us together. So far we've done a lot of fun things. Most recently we golfed with our friends and that was a lot of fun. Congratulations to the winner of that, the winners of that. But next week, Tuesday, we're gonna be playing GTA 5 online. Hopefully you have a copy of the game and can join us. Uh, I don't know what to expect as far as shenanigans, but I expect a good time nonetheless. So again, join us next week tuesday for the weekly doses and that ends the promotional part of the entrances for this match uh, whose entrance did i miss ah, doesn't matter on to the next one am i right There's a lot of hashtagging going on right now what's going on with all that Look at that, animated. Cody, that's cool. How'd you do that? How'd you do that? I like that. The Twitch champion, The Reckoning, coming out next. He will be competing tomorrow. And look at that, the DNA one too. I like that. Yeah. Feast or Famine, yes, we'll be turning them back on tomorrow. So the Reckoning will be competing against Ty, Grav, Irob, Garmer, Jet North, Troy Andrews, and Wolf Danger tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. That's right, night two. The Twitch Championship on the line. Champion, the Reaper. But for now, The Reckoning has a tag opportunity with Bear Briggs. The winning team will advance and head to the pay-per-view. You think more of your cause need emotes? 
We can only set so many. We gotta raise the uh, subs to a certain length to unlock more slots. But I agree, I would love to have more emotes that we all can cheer for your cause with emotes. Yeah, it's it's limited to how many uh, subs you have on the channel. There he is, the lovable fan favorite, Ollie. Cody's absolute favorite character on the roster. Why is the crowd starting to boo him now? Has the tide turned on Ollie? And from Glasgow, Scotland. Weighing in at 224 pounds, Oliver. Ollie, one half of uh, Cody, that's not true. Cody, don't lie. You love the cat. This guy, I tell you. Still to come tonight for night one of the Clash of Champions, the DNA Championship next, the Tag Team Championship to follow, and then our big main event, the NAW Championship. So stick with us, we're halfway through night one already. You have all, you know, the thing is in universe mode, they can change, the crowd can turn. And it's Ollie's tag partner. The crowd loves Dixon. Dixon almost dethroned the NAW champion rated. He did survive the tournament and become the number one contender recently for that. Coming up slightly short against the champ rated, but made a name for himself nonetheless. You know why I'm thinking you made it? No, no, no. The crowd shifts, man. These crowds, they don't know what they want. They don't know. Dixon getting down here in the ring. And here we go, Tag Team Contendership. Winning team will advance as our first team in the pay-per-view. Crowd booing here, this is a tables match. Put your opponent through the table, this thing is over. Smiles there with missing the high-risk move. Continuing his attempt as Camden trying to take out Ollie. Dixon going after Bear. Again, reckoning on smiles in the top right there. Dixon, first one to grab the table outside the ring there. Sending it down. Not sure why. Nice moves from Smiles. Again, Dixon back with the table this time, bringing it into the ring. Bear Briggs, not sure what he's up to. He looks lost. Ty searching for someone, finds the reckoning face with that table. Table set up in the middle of the ring already, what we got in mind. Is this thing gonna be over quickly? Very dangerous spot for the table to be right now as Ollie and Dixon dominating in the middle of the ring. Ollie guiding Camden over to the table, but Camden reverses. Oh, nearly missing the table there was Dixon. Bear almost won this. And just like that, good old JR's back in the title picture. Good God. I told you this thing could end quickly. Here are your winners. Two-man power trip. I'm 
I says, this is why I hate tables. Well, Brady says, pay me. That was a super quick match. Good old JR once again in the title contention. We will see them in the pay-per-view at the end of September competing for the Tag Team Championship. Congrats to good old JR. Our next contest here is for the DNA Championship. Locked inside a steel cage. Who will win? Hunter Owens defending their gold against Kaze. As well as Winters, Samuel Winters. And we see Briggs, who didn't have much of a match before, but now he gets an opportunity. Cody says, hey, I got paid on that. I would hope so. I hope you vote for JR. Get your predictions in now. This is a steel cage match for the DNA Championship. And how much did you get, Cody? Cody, are you watching with your seven uh, devices and accounts tonight? Or is that... Uh, too much effort. Does that seem like a lot of work to be honest with you? Again, this is part of the show that I do want to talk about upcoming things. With tonight being night one of Clash of Champions, tomorrow night is night two. Eight o'clock p.m. Eastern. Join us here. For night two of the Clash of Champions, seven more matches, such as the tag contender match, Dancing in the Rain versus Lana and Emma. We have the Twitch Championship that I already mentioned. The non contender with Alyssa and Isabel Steele. Yuri, Seth Maverick with his funny attire, and Hoku in a triple threat grudge. The DNA contender, Icon, Ty, Evans, Winters, Kaz, Grav, Butcher, and Camden in a match. The NAW Championship, Selena Maverick defending against Emma and Lana, and then the big main event, a 10-man rumble for the Tag Team Championship, Chief and Kimo defending against the Temple, Ty and Cody, JR, and Troy and Phil. Join us for that tomorrow night, of course. And this is a steel cage match for the DNA Championship. And introducing the challenger from New York, weighing in at 218 pounds. What's with all the hashtags again? You the guys okay? Wonder, the witch. All devices on. <laughs> uh, what do all those devices have as far as nerd cred? What, what, what is the balance looking like? All on. Getting my snack here as we welcome back to the ring Kaze. You guys want some? You know you want some. Should I do some ASMR of this? Cody, mm. you if your kids are still up. Give Camden some fruit snacks. He deserves it. Zebra cakes were better when I was a kid. I don't know why. But something makes me think they're better when I was a kid. It's just me. He did aim that toss pretty well. Yeah, he earned it. Yeah, fruit snack break for Camden. Let's move the cat through the table. <laughs> Winters here the of the Conjuring. The Japan, weighing in at 176 pounds, the Witch Doctor, Samuel 
Winters. Yum. Now we're talking. You see, I hear that guy. Good stuff right there. So for those that don't know, Steel Cage. You have to throw that pretty hard to put it through the table. It's true. Pretty damn hard. So Steel Cage rules for the championship are as follows. Escape the cage, pin, or submission. Those are the keys to a victory in this match. DNA champion. And introducing the champion from Charleston, West Virginia, weighing in at 212 pounds. He is the classic wrestling champion, Hunter, the unpredictable Owen. Hunter Owens here, the unpredictable one, as you heard it. Dominant in the DNA Championship division. Will they remain dominant here tonight? You can't wrestle! 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 So we hell with all of you! Well, the crowd's letting it be going here tonight. DNA Championship on the line. Cage being lowered. Conair says, let's get it, Hunter. Here we go. Cage lowered. Action begins. Shall we see any type of shenanigans in this one? We'll find out. Irish whip into the buckle, bear goes flying, winters to follow. Feed the bear, says bear. Nice kick, dropping bear through the ropes. He gets stuck in a very weird position. Look at bear right now. Awkward. Owens here. Lands the kick on Kaze. Owens the first one to attempt escape here, it looks like. Winter's not allowing that to happen. As he's bringing him back down and into the ring. Mounted strikes now from Owens. Grim with USA Chance. What's up, Grim? Mounted strikes continue from Owens. The DNA champ and a slap as he dismounts. Meanwhile, Bear continuing his assault on Winters here. the fingers backwards and knees to spine how's it going Graham you doing all right elbow strikes in the midsection of Kaze and a brutal knee driven deep into the gut meanwhile bear with a backbreaker The winter's there. Pinfall, submission, escape. Only one can win this match. Cold kicking your butt. That's no good, man. Summer cold suck. Bouncing off the structure there was Bear, but he gets back up as Winters tries to make a quick escape. He's halted by Briggs, though. on the hands here again. Knees to spine. Let's see who will try for an escape. Looks like Briggs trying for an escape here. Owens seeing the attempt. Holds that progress. Double team effort here as they work on the champion, but Briggs is making escape meanwhile. Winters recognizes this, but Bear is on top. Winters stopping the escape attempt from Briggs. 
Meanwhile, match is happening in the ring between Kaze and Owens. Oh no, Kaze helping Bear escape here. Unreal. Bear needs to kick Winters off those ropes if he needs, if he wants to win, he needs to. Meanwhile, submission attempt from the champion in the middle of the ring there. Will Kaze tap out to Owens? Can Owens remain champion? Two different innings, like, I can't even talk. Two different finishes happening at once here. Meanwhile, Owens trying to stop Winters. Winters trying to stop Briggs. Owens turning his attention back to Kaze. In the middle of the ring, Kaze down. Scrambles into the cover, Penfall. Two and a half there. Again, we might have two simultaneous finishes. Owens taking a breather there as Winters continues to stop Briggs. Briggs not making any more progress, but Winters not stopping him. Oh my! Owens with another. He can win it here. Two count again. Owens now turning his attention to Winters, trying to get Winters off the ropes, but if he does that... Oh, my! Owens putting on a show here while Barris spending most of his time on top of the structure. He has to be facing the point of exhaustion at this point. Owens is going to win the damn thing. Owens turning his attention again onto Winters. But Winters fighting him off. Oh my, Briggs was about to win it there, just a split second away. Owens again disrupting Winters, who continues to stop Briggs. Kaze with the pinfall on Owens. Two count and a kick out. Meanwhile, Kaze turning their attention to Winters. Big moonsault leaping. From the ropes there, Owens is in trouble now. Went it down with authority. Owens in big trouble as Bear again continues his efforts. Winters getting stopped by Kaze. And a reversal, Owens trying to come back alive. Owens is the defending champion in this match. Knees to the back there. Owens locking Kaze up, leg sweep, take down, rolls them over, has the leg hooked. The champion is still Hunter Owens in an insane match here. Owens is quickly becoming one of the most dominant DNA champions in the division. Very impressive. Somebody's getting paid there. Here is your winner, and still classic wrestling the glitch was dumb. champion, Hunter, the unpredictable. I mean, what can you do, right? You made 1.2K from that match. Man, you love to see it, I guess, for some. For others, not so much. You got 2K from that. Dang. So proof right there, y'all. You can win a lot with betting. A lot of proof. Tag Team Championship coming up next, though. Amy and Catherine. Against Michelle and Kara. Get your prediction on... Still to come right after this is our main event of night one, the NAW Championship. So don't go anywhere. Eight people competing for that belt. One of them trying to survive and retain it. The other seven hungry for an NAW Championship. In that match, we would crown one, two, let's see, three, four, five. There are five that have not been NAW Champion yet in that match alone. Will we crown a first time ever NAW champion for one of those five. Find out in our main event coming up after this one. What's up, I Rob? Just in time again, Mr. I Rob. Tag team championship on the line. The 
she eating zebra cakes, don't mind me. Is the hell no we won't? The following contest we'll find out. is scheduled for one fall. And is for the women. You can hear now. World Tag Team Championship. Introducing first from Grand Rapids, Michigan, Amy Reynolds. How was dinner, I Rob? I hear y'all got crabs. Make sure you help each other out with that. And hopefully they're not power crabs. Cody, you know what Captain James is? Sounds itchy. <laughs> it has been a while since the Women's Tag Team Championship has been on the line, but we're excited to see it tonight. You think a power grab would taste great? It probably would, you know? It's probably got a lot of meat. That's probably good. So. Go for it, that fan said. I do love crab meat, not gonna lie. Seafood is good food. So this match is traditional tag team rules because I know y'all love to see it. And then our main event right after this, elimination rules. I know y'all love to see it. What's up, the base? Good to see you in chat, my friend. How you been? Some of the best seafood in probably the... Man. I don't get seafood all too often. That makes me sad. I wish I could have it more. Nobody in my house really likes seafood or probably can have seafood. Working like crazy. You gotta get that money. I respect that though. And from Shout out to Kira. Back in action here tonight. Looking to acquire some gold around her waist. Can't she do it though? Seen places selling main lobster for crazy prices. Yeah, redeems are back tomorrow night. So we turned them off tonight just to make sure we didn't double stack redeems. But if you redeem during the show tomorrow night, you'll be booked next week Thursday. So tune in for night two of our pay-per-view tomorrow night. We got seven matches tonight, seven more tomorrow night. So we decided to split the pay-per-view into two nights just because of timing concerns. Uh, as of right now, it would have been, if it was one night, probably about a five-hour pay-per-view. And uh, I only want to do that for the big, big ones, you know? From Michigan, Michelle C. Brooks. And only the big four deserves to be... Uh, that long, in my opinion. These these smaller pay-per-views will do uh, in two nights, most likely. So Michelle and Kara here, teaming up, known as MK. Drugs bad, They are. Former champions, and I'm dropping tickets. They just picked those up here. There we go. Start doing that too. Good you bad, you good? You good? It's easy, okay. Thousand miles on the road trip. So that's what we did to Nashville, man. A lot of time on the road. That's what it's all about. Shout out to creator Ty making those tag belts for use here on the show. 
Two top women's tag teams already. We're going to see some more tag team action tomorrow on the show, too. Join us again for night two. Dancing in the Rain returns. They're going to be kicking off the show tomorrow night. You don't want to miss it. Night two, Clash Champions. Kira, Amy starting things off here in this one. A little bit of showboating. Okay. Never nothing but confident is Kira, of course. Amy, we've seen compete here already tonight. Kira, the freshest of the individuals. Panfall attempt crowd booing already as Amy kicks out very quickly. Emma cheering on Kira here. Nice reversal strikes to the midsection. And another planning her down face first into the canvas. Jawbreaker as she stands back up. These two lock up. Arm hooked. Snap suplex rolling through for another. She's taking Philly for lunch. That sounds yummy too, man. And here we go. Snap free. Snap crackle pop. Hot tag made. To Catherine, now the legal of the team against Kara here. Oh, the referee getting a little too close there. Nice, nice view, but I'm sorry. You don't want to get in between these individuals. You're going to get hurt. And yeah, Philly cheese sticks are great, man. Yes, they are. Kira dominating in this match here. We're showing the strength, agility, and just tenure of this talent. Pinfall attempt from Kara. Gets a two count. A little overconfident, I would say. If you're getting frustrated this early, Kira tagging in now for her partner, Michelle, who is legal. Michelle and Catherine Storm facing off now. These two know each other very well. Got her over to the buckle face first. And a nice reversal. Kick to the midsection. These two lock up. And into the ropes. The queen dominating right now. Not sure what that was, but that's going to hurt your leg, it looked like. As they lock up again, this time Michelle returning the favor, guiding her over to the other corner now. But a reversal from the queen. Look at the size difference here. One of the most dominant individuals on the roster in the women's division. I would love to see the queen face off against Maverick. Has the leg hooked here. Pinfall attempt. Tag team championship on the line. Two count. Awkward shuffle to tag in Amy now as the legal competitor in this match. Sidestep went for a right, but paying for it. Gets caught Michelle with a suplex there. Michelle working on the arm now of Amy. Wearing her down. Crowd booing. Tagging Kira now. Legal again. Facing off against Amy. In the Scrambles quickly into a cover. Penfall. Here we go. Oh my. Almost stealing a win there. Out of the ring goes Queen and Michelle there. Meanwhile Kira. But blocked. Amy blocked it. And lands a, some, a suplex of her own there. <clears throat> Amy, oh, with the rear view. Amy now guiding Kara away from the ropes. Amy going to try to go for a cover. I think she took too long, though. She did. Batman, you've never had a Philly cheesesteak before? I am so sorry to hear that. That's amazing. They're amazing. Mounted strikes now landed by Amy, the brawler. She's going high risk though. Oh my, elbow from the top rope into the cover, leg hooked. Tag team championship, no. Amy and Catherine almost retained here tonight. Here in trouble now, was dominating early on, but now the confidence building in the champions. 
Tying her up into an interesting hold there. Really damaging the knee with that one. Now working on the right elbow there. As you can see, limb by limb, very methodical, but Kara wisely moving out of the way. Jawbreaker dropping Amy. You had a McDonald's milkshake from your first ever drive through experience. Hell yeah, get that. Proud of you, nice work and good choice. Amy here. Nice full Nelson uh, suplex there. Tag made now. We got a meeting between Queen and Michelle in the middle of the ring. However, did we see a tag? I guess we saw a tag. I was too busy being distracted for the other side of the ring there. You're in Vegas next year? I'd like to go to Vegas sometime. Back and forth between Michelle and Queen. Queen was dropped on Michelle going high risk. Body misses, Queen sidesteps. The shake machine never works, it doesn't work, it's a piece of crap. The milkshake's coming out of the ice cream machine? I think so, yeah. Tag made, Kira now, Lego. I don't know if you saw that, but that happened. Double axe handle, smash! Kira now setting up. Ah, stop! Cover on the Queen. New Tag Team Champions. Oh, two and a half there. The Queen kicked out. Kara is not done, though. Up top, high risk. Amy trying to stop Kara from a high risk move. Couldn't get there, but a frog splash landed on the Queen. Tag made. Michelle, no. I don't know why she didn't continue with the cover. Michelle instead going in for the cover now. Amy gonna come in and break it up. I don't know why Kira didn't stick with the cover there. Weird setup here for these two. Chop takedown from Amy there. Kira is in the ring, but Michelle is actually the legal one. Close line takedown of Queen Catherine Storm. Tag made Kara now legal again. It has been Sanchez, I agree. Queen now taking it to Kira. The champions to defend. Two count kick out. Action continues here. Still come our big NAW Championship main event. Brutal strike to the midsection. Got wrench to Kira. My. The brutality here. What is this? Oh. Thank you, Rated. A submission attempt by Michelle saves the day. Queen says, get the hell out of my ring. Kira is in trouble now. As she somehow turns it around. What has she got in mind here? Crawling to the tag. Uh, she decides, hot tag made. Amy now leaving a crowd booing. The back and forth in this match is incredible. The invisible treadmill. Oh, no. Guys, oh no, um, she's just working on her fitness. Uh, let's, uh, it will stop eventually, will it? How long do we let this ride? Highlight of the match. I'm going to take control in just a few seconds here if it doesn't stop. Mark says it's going to stop. Yeah, let's uh, control our assignment. Let's uh, do this. Uh, Amy, I don't care about the match rating. Um... The referee position. I can't do anything with Amy because she's stuck. Let's do Kira. I can't do anything with Kira either? Yo! Um, let's do Queen. Let's have her run in. 
This is a mess. Here, do this. Run in and attack. No, you, I can't because of the damn angles. All right, there we go, y'all. All right, let's pretend that didn't happen, okay? And back to the action. Here we go. Good God. It's been a minute since we had a weird glitch. We had to take control. Tag made now. Michelle Legal against Amy here. Kira has needed a break from the action. She went for a run. An absolute run. Uh, nice job. Kayfabe. You know. <laughs> that moment was sponsored by the NAW 5K. Jog in the ring in our NAW 5K today and raise money for the Madden giveaway. Back to the action, Amy, Kira, Kira got her break. Amy with a nice bomb into a pinfall position. But gives up the pin, what happened there? Reverie counted two, I guess shoulders were up. Amy now, off the ropes, planted down. She needs to get her wet, what has she got in mind? Pulling her away from the ropes. I'd rather she did some squats, but running, hey, you know, whatever. What a finish there, awkward. It looked like she was trying to save her tag partner, but uh, didn't. Amy and Queen Catherine Storm retain. What a good match, but weird moment in the middle of that. <laughs> Some highlights here. And this is no. I can't laugh at a finish. Here are your winners. <laughs> Why not? And the news women's world <laughs> tag team champions. I mean, it was almost bad as uh, nah, that was worse. Moxley and Punk. Anybody watch AEW last night? What the hell was that? Do you think they're gonna have a rematch at all out? Let's see. Got one right for a change. Let's do the payouts on that, shall we? All right, ladies and gents, it is about time for our main event. What is it, AEW? It's that show on Wednesdays. Come on. Come on. You said it was great. Perfectly fine match. Finish how it should. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'll give you that one, Cody. You're not wrong. All right. <laughs> the right man won. And I, I hate to say that. So, ladies and gents, it is the main event of night one of our two night pay per view. Rated Troy, King Phil, Bear Phillips, Grav, Ollie, Hunter, Owens, and Garmer are all competing for the NAW Championship in an elimination rules matchup. Who is going to win? That is the question. Let me fill out all of these contenders here, and then you can begin your votes on our competitors. Get the tag belts. Here we go. Main event time. Had a treat and catnip. Yes. So remember, night two, 8 p.m. tomorrow night, right here. Be there. Predictions, or excuse me, redemptions will be turned back on. And we'll also be ending the show giving away a copy of Madden 23 digitally to somebody at the end of the show. At the end of the show, at the end of the show. So stick with us. Wrong bear. How was it the wrong bear? Which bear did I put in the match? Did I put Briggs or did I put Phillips? Did I mess it up? Uh oh. It is Bear Phillips. Did I did I put Briggs in there? Did I book Briggs? Oh no! Oops! The following contest. I messed up the uh, predictions. My bad. The challenger from Ann Arbor, Michigan. See, that's why we can't have two bears. So damn confusing. 
the boss, Travis James. I'll I'll uh, I'll give Phillips something for the honest mistake. <laughs> I have an IOU. He ain't even here anyways, so what the hell? I have an IOU written down for Phillips if you're watching this back. IOU Phillips, I got you something special in mind. And maybe I did it intentionally for storyline, who the hell knows? <laughs> we'll say it's that. But out of character, Phillips, I have an IOU for you and it's gonna be worth your while, prom I promise. Mistakes happen. See, this is why I can't set up shows why I'm working. Honest. It was a uh, honest mistake. I promise you that. <laughs> Oops. Watch Briggs win the damn title too. <laughs> if Briggs wins, we get a 30-man rumble. Everyone gets a free shot. Cody, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll do that. And I'll do that tomorrow. How about that? What do you guys think? If Briggs wins this 30-man rumble for the NAW title tomorrow. Cody loves it. It's an honest mistake. Cody with the idea. If Briggs wins, I'll honor the idea. And I'll even put Phillips at number 30. How about that? Nobody. You know, Cody, here's the thing. You say nobody would complain, but that is wrong. <laughs> you know that's wrong. Troy, you know you'll get a spot. You know you'll get a spot. More than fair. From Anchorage, Alaska, weighing in. So Briggs winning is technically a good thing pounds. now. Bear. <laughs> oh, mistakes turning into something interesting uh, for tomorrow night. So everyone can look at Blaine. <laughs> What's up with you having good ideas every week? I mean. Sometimes you just get some good ideas and it works out. For a moment there, Cody, you said I had some really good ideas. We didn't use a bunch of them. Everyone is praying for Briggs now. Look at that. We just made Briggs a face. <laughs> the DMs will be full. See, Emma, you know. You understand. Grim is writing their complaint right now. So... Honest mistake, though. I have on my damn sheet, too. I picked the wrong bear. It's because I booked the other bear like three other times. Son of a bitch. From Augusta, He's that feeding Maine, bear, am I right? Weighing in at <laughs> 215 pounds, the terror, Troy David. Man, I can't believe though. Son of a bitch. That's right. Main event though, 571 is here. Night one of Clash of Champions. Night two, of course, tomorrow night. We may have a bonus match. 30 man rumble for you all. Who the hell knows? Uh, it's gonna be interesting. Let's get it. I don't, man, I make a lot of mistakes, I Rob. I make a lot of mistakes. I'm human. And it's okay to make mistakes. It's where you don't learn from your damn mistakes when you make them. Is when you got issues. You know what I'm saying? Happy little accidents. <laughs> oh, man. T. Drew's promoting WWE. What the hell? T. Drews, what's up with that, man? We don't promote that indie show. 
what's the WWE? They're not on our level. Get on our level, son. You'd rather your cuddly bugbear Briggs fight than Phillips anyways? Nah, I mean, I owe it to Phillips. He should have been in this match, to be honest with you. He won the spin wheel, to be honest. You know who redeemed that spin wheel? That was me, too. So I owe him. We love rats. It's rat season? What's that mean? This guy right here. Down with Venom. Sledge, what's up? He said this looks fun. How you doing, Sledge? Welcome to the show. We have new episodes every single Thursday night. This time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. If you want to be part of the roster, hashtag NAW22. You can join us each and every week. The chat is our roster. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, if you want to join up, feel free to do so. We're glad to have you here. Hit that follow button if you want. It helps the channel out. We're approaching almost 1,500 followers. We'd love to get there. That'd be an awesome new milestone for the channel to achieve. Do we get anything for getting there? Hell no, we don't. But... The thing is, it's the satisfaction of that grind that we put in together as a group here is achieving new heights. 1,500 is awesome, and honestly, that's a huge milestone for this channel and everyone that's put work in it over the years that have been here, uh, and for those here or even not here anymore. It's a grind to get followers, to convince somebody to hit a button and participate in something. It's a lot of work. You're good, man. Awesome. Pro wrestler on your recommended. All right, all right. But yeah, we're live every single week. If you miss an episode, we upload everything to our YouTube channel. We're also on Instagram. We're also on Twitter. We have a Discord. Uh, mildly active. We use it for our community nights on Tuesdays if you want to partake in that. So a lot of stuff. King Phil, of course. First big opportunity for them. Pro Couch Potato. Are you a bro Tato? Mr. Ali could hold the NAW Championship here tonight. Our very first cat. You used to work for Ring of Awesome. Ring, Ring of Honor, and that's all. I'm slurring things here. That's awesome, Sledge. Uh, what did you do for them? Were you a, a talent? Were you crew? You were with him for three years? That is awesome. Cat, this is the cat. Because this cat knows where it's at. Your daughter has a crown from winning a pageant. You work backstage and was talent. That's awesome. Behind me, I actually have like 65 Ring of Honor DVDs. I'm a pretty big fan of ROH. At least the, the former ROH. Uh, the new one we haven't really seen come to fruition yet. We've seen uh, the two shows so far, really. Yeah, the Ring of Awesome. That's I'm slurring the sentences together. I don't hate all things WWE. You've like created this character for me that is false, Cody. From the pit Why would I spend money on things I hate? That's idiotic. At 402 pounds. I've even been to a Ring of Honor show. Cody, have you been to a Ring of Honor show? Yeah. yeah.
Past eight years, hell yeah, man. I was in your... Cody King. Cody King. You know, here's the thing. Cody, go back and listen to the Nerds of Wrestling podcast. Because I stopped doing that podcast because I spent my time hating on WWE. Man, this guy. Cody, stop trying to be a gatekeeper wrestling fan. Jesus. Be awesome if we had a former champion. We did. We had uh, Selena Vega in our chat. Don't y'all remember that? The podcast you hosted most? I don't know about that. I think Trevor did. Ty. Good lord. And Emma, you did gift her a sub. That is true. That's true. Garmer here, ready for action. And it was on my birthday of all days, too. It was a cool moment. Here's our NAW champion. You just spit a lot of nothing out. The champion from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 274 pounds. He is the world Never seen the talk. Champion. There were the updates Punisher. this week. I don't know what they were. Four. And who's playing you, Cody? Reddy gets pinned in the first 15 seconds. You hate to see that. Ty, why are you sipping water? What are you sipping on? Why are you saying my name? What did I do? Am I missing something here? What did I do, Cody? I swear. Sledge, thank you so much for stopping by. Glad to have you in here. Keep up the good work yourself, man. I am in trouble when the middle name comes out, apparently. Grim rooting for Ollie. Here we go. It is time. NAW Championship on the line. Who will walk out our champion? Pinfall, submission. Will knockouts be on? It is elimination rules. King Phil with a pinfall on me already. Don't do it. Good God, I was almost eliminated immediately. Man. Action continues here. This thing could go quick. This thing could drag out. Who knows? But all I know is the NAW Championship. My God, Gravity, what are you doing? You're trying to die tonight? Don't do that. King Phil taking it to me. On the left there, I hate to see that. Who's it gonna come down to? We're rated survive. Garmer here, everyone thought and thinks Garmer would be the one to dominate in this. We'll find out if they will, or will Ollie be our champion, or will Briggs, so we get a rumble match for the title tomorrow. With Phillips getting that coveted 30 spot. Pinfall attempt. Another pinfall attempt. Troy eliminated by Hunter, the first one out of this match.
Combination strikes here from Hunter on Garmer. Bear Briggs in trouble now. The wrong bear in the match. Rolling out of the ring is rated here. The champion. Holly taking out Hunter there in the middle of the ring. Only one elimination thus far. Beautiful moonsault. Could Ali be your next NAW champion? Two count on King Phil there on the right. Garmer pinning Ali. Will Ali get eliminated by Garmer here? Not even a one count. Gravity removing stuff from the commentary table. What does he have in mind for King Phil? Gravity setting up King Phil for something. Gravity. What is Gravity going to do to King Phil here? Oh my. We don't see this all too often. Not a pedigree through the damn table. Let's go, Gravity. Hey. That wasn't the pin. What the hell? I just put him through a damn table. What are you made out of, King Phil? Gravity, what are you doing? Gravity here. Nice stunner to King Phil. Action continues here. Gravity with a moment of the show, in my opinion. Putting him through the commentary table. Honestly, you don't see that all too often. That was cool to see. Raider with a pinfall tap on Briggs. People want Briggs to win so we get a rumble for the title tomorrow. Gravity with a pedigree is something you never knew you needed until now. Really? I didn't know I had that assigned, to be honest. Rated almost eliminated there by Bear. Garmer with a big right hand dropping King Phil. Gravity pointing up to the sky. What are you doing, Gravity? That's the question on his mind, really, about tonight in general. What is Gravity doing? What does he have planned for the future? Especially now with Ty being Mr. Money in the Bank. How will that affect things? Ty, of course, aligning himself recently with Cody and Bear Phillips. The correct Bear that was supposed to be in this. I apologize again. Cat abuse happening. This is Grim. Driven down gravity, trying to take out King Phil. Roll break there. Briggs survives. Back and forth between Grav and King Phil. King Phil trying to make a name for himself here in one of his first few matches on the roster. Will Grav tap out to Phil? He holds on. What is Ollie doing? Ollie is just watching idly by. Well, your hopes, dreams have been crushed. Bear Briggs has been eliminated. No Royal Rumble tomorrow for the championship. Would that have happened if Phillips was in? We don't know. But there is still an IOU in order for Phillips somehow, some way, and I will figure that out soon. Somebody got rocked. Who got rocked? Did Ollie get eliminated? Oh! Oh my God! Grab just got knocked out by landing on Ollie. We're down to four. What the hell just happened? Garmer, Owens, Raided, and King Phil remain for the NAW Championship. The champ is still in this. Keep that in mind. Is this Garmer's ninth, though? He has been one of the most dominant, just monster of men here on the roster. Really dominate here in the main event. Two and a half there, King Phil survives. Raided turning his attention to Garmer. Nice answer, Gary. Raided just took out Garmer with that one. We are down to three. The champ is still in it. The champ just tapped. King Phil just eliminated the champion. Hunter Owens and King Phil, the final two here. Oh my God. Two people that have never held the NAW Championship before. 
King Phil in his first few matches on the roster could win here. He said God cams are gross. Hunter Owens here could become NAW champion. Clanton King fell down. Could he be champ champ? Two kick out. Hunter Owens here again trying to chase after the NAW goal. King Phil, a rookie to the roster with a big right hand dropping Hunter. Oh, but Hunter played possum with that. A springboard moonsault and Hunter Owens just knocked him out with it. The DNA is now also your NAW champion. We have a champ champ. Hunter Owens. Wow. Nobody picked Hunter Owens to win this thing. Nobody. Here is your winner and new world champion, Hunter, the unpredictable Owens. Wow, indeed. Ready to shake my head. We have a new NAW champion here tonight, Hunter Owens. I thought KOs were off too, I guess not. All kinds of shit was fucked up, wasn't it? Welcome to Night in the Clash of Champions. I can't even say that pay-per-view name right. Clash of Champions Night 1. What the hell's gonna happen on Night 2? Ready to hit a kick and knocked someone out. Grab got tossed to the rope, got knocked out. And that to finish it. <laughs> oh man. What's gonna happen tomorrow? We'll find out. I want to thank everyone, though, for tuning in here for night one of Clash of Champions. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, we're going to have night two. So join us for that. And uh, we've got submission for one second. Tad for real. shenanigans and craziness. Regular move chaos. You hate to see it. Oh, man. Thank you all, though, for tuning in. Tomorrow night will be interesting. Seven more matches are coming your way. And uh, Phillips, I owe you. And uh, you might be getting something as soon as tomorrow. We'll see. Tune in for that. Other than that, good night, y'all. We'll see you on night two. Peace.